That is conclusive. And that fact should prevent them from ever being taken seriously again. Whoa, whoa. The footage does not show an insurrection or a riot in progress. Instead, it shows police escorting protesters through the building, including the now infamous QAnon shaman. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Elon Musk continues his reign as the most based man on planet Earth. Yes, it gets better than him tweeting my pronouns are prosecute. Fauci, even though this probably is the all-time greatest tweet ever, uh, 1.27 million likes. Elon Musk has been on an absolute rampage tweeting about the bombshell expose from Tucker Carlson last night about January 6th and the verifiable lies that you have been told in order to prop up a regime narrative, ladies and gentlemen, that is all coming collapsing down. And Elon Musk, of course, going absolutely balls deep on this issue, doing hard retweets, which is very rare for Elon Musk of the New York Post uh, saying that Officer Brian Sicknick was uninjured on January 6th. Today's cover of January 6th footage shows Capitol cops escorting QAnon Shaman to the Senate floor toured a farce Elon Musk hard retweet along with multiple other comments from other uh, creators. Greg Price getting a hard retweet here. Again, very, very rare. Greg Price saying that the QAnon shaman was led through the United States Capitol building by cops, all of it verifiably true. Elon Musk's response to tweets have been quite wild. This tweet from Greg Price, never before seen footage of January 6th shows Jacob Chansley, the QAnon shaman, Chewbacca man being led through the Capitol by police. Elon Musk saying, this is crazy. The public was misled. Elon Musk continuing uh, responding to this tweet about the verifiable lies demonstrated last night by Tucker Carlson. Elon Musk saying, besides misleading the public, they withheld evidence for partisan political reasons and they sent people to prison for far more serious crimes than they committed. Elon Musk, ladies and gentlemen, unchallenged in his position as based king of the universe. What did Tucker Carlson demonstrate last night and why is Elon Musk uh, up in our menchies about it? Well, Tucker Carlson demonstrated some verifiable lies. Lie number one, that there was a Chewbacca man that violently stormed into the United States Senate and took the podium seat and started uh, yelling like a banshee. No, the man was escorted. Conspiracy theorist dressed in outlandish costume who led the violent insurrection to overthrow American democracy. For these crimes, Chansley was sentenced to nearly four years in prison, far more time than many violent criminals now receive. What did Jacob Chansley do to receive this punishment? To this day, there is dispute over how Chansley got into the Capitol building. But according to our review of the internal surveillance video, it is very clear what happened once he got inside. Virtually every moment of his time inside the Capitol was caught on tape. The tapes show that Capitol Police never stopped Jacob Chansley. They helped him. They acted as his tour guides. Here's video of Chansley in the Senate chamber. Capitol Police officers take him to multiple entrances and even try to open locked doors for him. We counted at least nine officers who were within touching distance of unarmed Jacob Chansley. Not one of them even tried to slow him down. Chansley understood that Capitol Police were his allies. Video shows him giving thanks for them in a prayer on the floor of the Senate. Watch. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for paying the inspiration needed to these police officers to allow us in this building. Contrast the reality of what Jacob Chansley did in the Capitol building on January 6th. The industry. So the top of the list here on the verifiable lies that have been revealed by Tucker Carlson in part one of his expose is Brian Sicknick died. So Brian Sicknick was a cop who was at the Capitol, but he didn't die that day, as the media told you, and as Joe Biden and Kamala Harris cravenly desecrated his body for political gain. These people are such evil mutant villains, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Brian Sicknick tragically died in the days afterwards of causes that are not related to January 6th. Brian Sicknick was a Trump supporter. Uh, Brian Sicknick was an officer that day and was caught on tape by Tucker Carlson walking healthily through the building helmeted. Police officers in the meantime. But Brian Sicknick should not be reduced to a prop for the political ambitions of the Democratic Party. He was a human being. 
The facts of his life matter, including how he died. To this day, media accounts describe Sticknick as someone who was, quote, slain on January 6th. The video we reviewed proves that is a lie. Here is surveillance footage of Sicknick walking in the Capitol after he was supposedly murdered by the mob outside. By all appearances, Sicknick is healthy and vigorous. He's wearing a helmet, so it's hard to imagine he was killed by a head injury. Whatever happened to Brian Sicknick was very obviously not the result of violence he suffered at the entrance to the Capitol. This tape overturns the single most powerful and politically useful lie that Democrats have told us about January 6th. And it was indeed a lie. The January 6th committee knew perfectly well that Brian Sicknick was walking normally through the cap. They needed these lies to prop up a narrative, and that narrative is now collapsing as a man with 130 million followers, the richest man and most powerful man, arguably, in the world, goes directly at the uniparty establishment for their lies during January 6th. As you can see here in Elon Musk's profile for his likes, we didn't get a hard retweet, but we did get a like from based Elon of Tucker flaming the January 6th committee as frauds. Democrats in Congress, Adam Kinzinger, Liz Cheney, they lied about that day. They are liars. Elon Musk liked this tweet. This tweet was seen by millions of people. And um, this is what Tucker had to say. And of course, he's right. Video doesn't answer every question from January 6th, far from it. But it does prove beyond doubt that Democrats in Congress, assisted by Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney, lied about what happened that day. They are liars. That is conclusive. And that fact should prevent them from ever being taken seriously again. Man, oh man, Elon Musk remaining probably one of the greatest vehicles of truth on the internet. And that's what he set out to be, actually. This is why he bought Twitter in the first place. As Elon Musk has stated before at multiple large conferences, Elon Musk bought Twitter to be the saucer of truth, the cooling saucer of truth, where you could actually have a voice, you could share ideas like this, and they wouldn't get nuked. Sharing these ideas would get you kicked off the platform just a couple of months ago. It's hard to state this more emphatically. This is why Elon bought Twitter. How do you see Twitter if we, we say it five years down the road? What's your vision for, for this platform? What, sh what should it do? To be, be as useful as possible, as entertaining as possible, um, and uh, also to be like a, a source of, of truth. Like if you want to uh, find out what's going on and what's really going on, Yes. Um, then you could should be able to go on, 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 you know, X, the X app, and um, and and find out. So it's a sort of source, a sort of a, a source of truth, and a maximally useful, I guess, app is about wrong word, but system. Um, and and twi Twitter is essentially an accelerant to that sort of maximally useful everything app. The maximally useful accelerant of Twitter to be a place where you can go on and log on and find out what is true. Man, that is a dangerous thing to be positing now in the modern world where everything is built on lies. Maybe this is why Elon Musk has bodyguards with him that even accompany him to the bathroom, ex-Saffer claims. I mean, duh. Uh, obviously, you're in downtown San Francisco. Elon Musk, of course, should have bodyguards. He's the richest man in the world. Elon Musk trolls fired Twitter employees with office space clip. <laughs> like, oh, man, this is uh, this is just beautiful. Elon Musk using office space clips. What would you say you do here? <laughs> Elon Musk is so legendary. China warns Elon Musk after COVID lab leak comments. The baseness continues. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an entire video, you can watch it here, of Elon Musk fighting China as it pertains to the lab leak theory and sharing that. And again, we cannot emphatically encourage you enough. If you haven't gone here and retweeted this tweet, my pronouns are Prosecute Fauci. Go ahead and retweet that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very, very 
blessed to have Elon Musk owning Twitter. It is wonderful to be able to have moments like this where truth shall set you free and to have a platform where you can actually speak truth on. We are thankful for Elon Musk. We don't know what we did to deserve Elon Musk, but here we are, ladies and gentlemen. He's fighting for the future of freedom in this country, and so are we. We're fighting right alongside with you. Stay based. My name is Benny Johnson. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.